Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I have a little tutorial video for you guys because I'm going to be showing you how you can modify a Jurassic World gyrosphere to fit two minifigures with just the addition of a few pieces. This is a regular gyrosphere. This comes in the Indominus Rex vs. Ankylosaurus set, but LEGO's gyrosphere designs have remained pretty consistent from 2015 through 2021. Now, this is a one-seater vehicle, but in the movie, there are two-seaters, and people can ride side by side. That is physically impossible in the LEGO version, which is why my modification allows you to have two minifigures, uh, like one behind the other. You can see that this figure does have a little console. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to see because the zero-gravity thing means that he keeps moving away from me. And then he's actually sitting on a chair. The chair is something that we're not going to be able to take with us into the modification. Here are the pieces you're going to need for this modification. You're going to need two of these one by one blue plates with a vertical clip, not a horizontal clip. You're going to need a one by two plate with a bar. You're going to need a regular one by two plate. And then you're going to need a two by four plate. All of these pieces are in Lego's regular blue color. And the other thing you'll notice that I've done is I've taken gray from the Indominus Rex set and I've given him black mid legs from Harry Potter because he can't sit down using the dark blue short legs that came in the set. That's not a super big deal though, because I'm sure that you guys have extra legs in your collection and you don't need mid legs. I just went with mid legs because I think it makes them look more accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our gyrosphere and I wanna apologize because you can see like my ring light and my ceiling fan and everything in the reflection. But I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid that. So you can get into this by just pulling apart your sphere halves and then go ahead and fully remove this and just take off these little Technic pieces from the side of the chair assembly. So now what you're gonna do is just take off the chair and then the two cheese slopes. And then you're also gonna wanna get rid of this one by two plate, which I just dropped. But you're gonna need to replace this one with the one with the bar because that one is not gonna allow you to attach the screen. So we're just gonna put the one by two plate that's modified up at the front. We're gonna put the regular one at the back and then we cap it all off with the two by four. Now, this is where you can get a little bit experimental because I wanted two chairs. I do have an extra blue chair and these two will fit, but the problem is Lego chairs kind of slope backwards like that to allow room for a minifigure's back. So if you take your other figure and you try to have them sit behind the first figure, their legs just can't connect to those studs without like bending this piece in an unhealthy way. So unfortunately, that's why we have to go chairless here. So to finish this modification, we're just going to take these two one by ones with with a clip. And I mean, you could also use a one by two with two clips if you have that in your collection. And then you just clip that onto the front and then we're ready to put our mini figures back into the gyrosphere. So these figures are going to be pretty close together. You'll notice I have Gray leaning back with his arms up because like they just they have nowhere to go. You're going to have to get creative. I mean, he can hold on to his brother, I guess. But the reason like you might be asking, why can't you just use one of these one by ones with clip and then put it onto the piece with the bar that already comes in the set? The reason that you can't do that is because cheese slopes have this piece in the middle, so they can't attach to just one stud. It doesn't work like that. And so I was thinking, well, what if I used a jumper plate? Because if you use a jumper plate, then you could put just like a one by one in the center if you have the new version. This is an old version of a jumper plate. I believe they were changed over in 2014. So this has the same exact problem where it's got a piece in the middle that's preventing it from attaching in the middle, but newer versions of the piece have a gap there. So if you have a newer blue or any other color jumper plate, you can get away with just using that and then one of the clips, but I don't have one, which is why I've gone for the switching out the bar. So now all we have to do is some easy reassembly, and then we're ready to pop this back into the gyro gyrosphere shell and get rolling. I kind of hate how fiddly these things are, but I mean, they're really cool. The one thing you're going to want to watch out for is you want to make sure that nothing's too tight because you want this thing to be able to move around freely. And then you also want to make sure that the control console is tucked up close enough to the first figure's feet to allow for clearance of the figures. So there we go. We now have a two-figure gyrosphere. I actually figured this out like back in 2015, except back then I didn't modify it to have a console. But right off the bat, you'll notice that the one problem with this version is that the anti-grav doesn't work quite as well at times. 
because this is a little bit front heavy, again, like with that console edition. So it's kind of always going to be leaning forwards a little bit, as you saw at the start of the video. But I mean, it still works pretty well most of the time. It can get a little bit stuck, but I'm like, I'm fine with those little compromises for being able to fit two figures in here the way it's supposed to be. All right, well, that pretty much does it for this video. I hope that this taught you guys something new. I hope that you guys are going to be able to fit more minifigures in your gyro spheres if that's what you want. Let me know in the comments if you found any other ways to fit multiple figures in there, or if you have like any other ideas for, you know, Jurassic World modifications. Well, that's it for today, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.